Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. So as usual, I've been donating today. So as you can see in the top left, I'm at 55,998 EXP right now. And uh, just need another 2 more EXP to get to level 294. So uh, before we proceed into leveling up, I would like to show you guys an uh, attack that I did today. Uh, it was rather interesting as uh, the queen was really really amazing. I, did, I do not have any words to describe how she uh, managed to pull this stun off, but uh, we will see as how it, it happened. Uh, you see I deployed some of my minions and my barbarians and my king on the top right to take out uh, the palms so that I could get the elixir as the elixir were full. So then I focused on the bottom as I saw that the DE drills were at the bottom, uh, bottom left and the bottom right and even the DE storage. So I was focusing on those four um, stuff and my queen I deployed her be behind the golems with the healers. So as you can see, the queen is now has uh, taken out two of the drills. Now targeting the cannon, taken out the cannon. So I decided to reach her and including the giants, but the giants went the wrong way, and I forgot to drop my jump spell to let them jump into the core. So at this point of time, I was quite wondering whether will she be able to get the de storage. So at this point of time, I was thinking I think it's like impossible, and with the infernal lock locked on to her, she was going down really quickly. So then suddenly she swing all the way to the right to attack the. Opponent's queen, then she was stuck in between the <laughs> gold storage and the elixir storage, taking both of them out with the rage spell. She eventually continued taking out the other stuff and eventually targeting the DE storage, which was really, really, really crazy and insane. I have no words to describe this. And then she just continued rampaging and just taking out the other DE drill, which was on the far right. So I was really, really <laughs> like stun when uh, this happened as uh, the queen was really 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 smart the AI was like in my favor to get the storages that I want and eventually she targeted the town hall but with the expo lock locked onto her she eventually went down and couldn't uh, carry on taking out the town hall so just ended the battle with a uh, one star but yeah sometimes uh, the AI is on your side sometimes the AI just screws you up and just start shooting the wall but this time it was on my favor so yeah, that was really really good. So uh, now we will proceed on to attack. So uh, I've prepared in my army camp 20 Valkyries and 20 Wizards. And uh, we, sh we will try this strategy which is the Valkyrie and Wizard. And uh, I prepared a uh, 2 jump, 1 Rage, 1 Lightning and 1 Freeze. Uh, it's a double jump with uh, the Valkyries. So we will see as how it go. And be able to level up. Hopefully we will be able to get the Town Hall. So with that said, we'll proceed on to send we will attack the very first base that appears. So as you can see, uh, this is a uh, Town Hall 10 with a uh, King and Queen defending one on the left, one on the right. Uh, I think I'll enter from the Queen side. Um, looking at some of the defenses, some of the cannons are really, really low in level. And in fact, the Archer Towers are all really, really low in level. This is like... Uh, premature base and I'm really confused right now as some of the structures are maxed like his infernos but uh, nevertheless we will just attack it right now um, dropping a jump spell here and I presume here so that my valkyries will go in so dropping all my valkyries in just normal one whole line and dropping my wizards at the back uh, dropping my cc which have uh, wizards and in fact some archers also and uh, just look at how uh, the valkyries will go in dropping a free spell so that it freezes up the inferno and also freeze up some of the defenses dropping a rage spell to rage out all my troops hoping that they will get into the center to take out the town hall so as you can see now the wizards are all inside with in fact the queen taking out the town hall right now and i've just leveled up to 294 taking out uh doing a two star so now we are at 55 percent 58 percent 56 uh, so we are going up so hopefully uh the king and queen do not die so soon. Uh, the queen is almost uh, down with the opponent's king coming to distract her. But it's okay, the queen is cloaked and uh, she'll just take out the king really quickly. So now with just the inferno left, I do not know whether this could be a 3 star raid. So with the king and queen targeting the inferno with many many of the wizards at the back, I think this is just going to be a 3 star raid. So um, this is like a really premature base, really really weird. Um, but it's okay. You <clears throat> it's okay. You find this kind of stuff um, at uh, any range. In fact, I found a 
no defenses base and in fact I found no wall bases I found really really weird bases before so this is just one of the very weird finds so yeah uh, this is a 3 star rate easily done with uh, this troops combination it's really really strong so yeah we had a little fun for this moment um, just want to update you guys about the war as stated in my previous video I'll be back to my farming clan SG gladiators so I'm back with them right now and uh, we've started the war search we are matched with a, a Japanese clan and uh, things seem pretty okay as uh, we look at their clan they have um, 25 Town Hall 10s and the rest are Town Hall 9s but uh, for us we have more Town Hall 10s than them we have uh, 27 Town Hall 10s and uh, in fact one more secret Town Hall 10 which is my sub account hiding at the very bottom with uh, one of our Town Hall 8 together with us so just looking at the uh, first three bases of our clan so uh, of course this is my base then uh, my second, my clan mate, Old Daddy his base is uh, max defenses, uh, left the walls to be done and following up by uh, Doctrine which is uh, also a max defense base but uh, his uh, walls in max doing a little bit of his uh, blue walls so we will check out the opponent's top 3 bases so we will see as whether we have a chance to take on the first 3 bases I uh, usually look at the first 3 in fact uh, this is how I determine because I usually take on the first 3 so the top base is max with level 40 king and queen and uh, the second base is a uh, level 40 king and queen with uh, max defenses so we are uh, almost on par with uh, my clan mates as you, can, as you can see from just the first top 3 so yeah I just hope uh, this clan war will go really well and also stated I'll be meeting them up tomorrow for dinner and also doing a get together clan war meetup so hopefully we will be able to attack together and uh, do some really really interesting uh, live attacks together maybe attacking all together at once so we will see we will see hopefully we can do that uh, but yeah so i would like to end my video here right now so i'd like to thank you for watching my video and clash on